All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Pretty spectacular view off to the east and uh, southeast of the FM area right now. The brightest thing in the sky, Jupiter, and you can even see here from our uh, Corwin Cam in South Fargo, three, one, two, three of the moons out there, those little dots next to it. You probably could see the same thing with a good pair of binoculars because Jupiter is, uh, well, relatively speaking, so close to Earth 41 right now at Hector the dew point, which is a critical temperature for helping us determine just how low things can go sits at 30. That's pretty dry air and the wind is calm. The skies are clear. Perfect conditions for rapid cooling. 39 Grand Forks right now. We have 37 in Bedette. The cold spot is 32 in Bemidji for Paul Bunyan. Now 43s for Oaks and for Jamestown Devils Lake. You have 44 and in Lakes Country near those low to mid 40s at this hour. Here's dew points around the region and they are as low as those 20s out there. And uh, well, we're going to be clearest and calmest in our eastern counties and that is why we do have that freeze warning for those areas as we go through the overnight hours. And a look at the nation about the only happening going on right now is Hurricane Ian. That is, uh, well, it's in the eastern Gulf and heading right toward the western peninsula of Florida. Freeze warning here for our Lakes counties, eastern Becker, eastern Otter Tail, and north into Beltrami and Roseau counties, Lake of the Woods as well. Temperatures will be as low as the mid 20s. A couple could get briefly down into the lower 20s. That's going to be a basically a killing freeze out there ending the growing season. And in the Central Valley, Lakes Country, including Western Becker, Western Otter Tail, that's Fergus Falls and the Lake Park area, as well as Fargo, Moorhead and Grand Forks, a frost advisory. Frost is likely cover the plants. And if you're in the freeze warning area, you may want to disconnect the hose too and be sure to cover your plants and tomatoes. Temperatures tonight will slide precipitously down into the uh, 20s briefly, mainly in our central Minnesota counties. We could see a couple of instances of that in western Minnesota. Otherwise, we'll be in the low to mid 30s across the region. There was a little expansion of that frost advisory, by the way, for the Devil's Lake Basin. So you two are now involved in that. Temperatures in the mid hour, those winds pick up from the south, passing high clouds. And the warm up begins after the coldest start of the season. We'll see near 70 degree readings in the far south to well, lower 60s for most of northern and central Minnesota. As we go through the afternoon, I cannot rule out a sprinkle uh, that lasts into the evening. It'll be breezy though at times for some of us upwards of 35 miles per hour. Fargo 32 to start scraping frost. And then you can lose the jackets in the afternoon as we'll enjoy very comfortable temperatures, but breezy conditions in the afternoon. Gusts to 25 here, gusts to 35 out west, maybe a little higher at times, near 70 there. Low 60s to mid 60s in western Minnesota. All right, fall foliage report for Minnesota. It looks pretty good where you see these yellow colors here nearing the peak. That's northwest Minnesota and portions of Lakes Country. Here's an example. Trina, thanks for sharing. Got to tell you, beautiful driving time of the year. As we look at your planning forecast, the warm up continues. Breezy in 73 on Thursday, and we stay in the 70s for each and every one of those days with only spotty sprinkles in the forecast. So, not enough to really prohibit you, Stacy, from getting out and raking the lawn. <laughs> uh, doesn't that <laughs> No, they haven't great. fallen off the tree yeah. yet. <laughs> Dose of almost winter, and then we're getting some warmer temperatures yeah. again. <laughs> right, raking's better than shoveling in my book, I guess. Well, that silver lining, yeah. right? Thanks, Hutch. Yeah. Coming.